Hi and welcome back to YouTube. Today we are just talking about self tanning because you guys asked for it. Well, hello there. This has been one of the most requested videos of all the last few days. Tan in general, tanning, self tanning. How do you spray tan? What kind of spray tan should you choose? Should you self tan at home? And what kind of self tanners am I using right now? So, um, and it's not about right now, you know, because I've been using self tanners for a long time now. I used to go to the sun beds in our city. I know, of course, this is not a healthy habit, but it is something that I did in the past. So I'm not doing it anymore. That's like the important thing. And right now I'm just uh, usually and most of the times I am going to just use self tanners at home to get that kind of a summery look. To be honest, I do have medium, um, light to medium, let's say skin tone. Um, I do tan easily in the summer, but I do have to use as everyone on the planet should. <laughs> SPF and uh, since I started using a sunscreen on my face as well and I'm talking about 50 plus sunscreen on my face all the time in all seasons it doesn't matter if, if it's sunny or not I'm just going to put an SPF cream um, on my face before makeup so I just have here like a basket full of my favorite body and tanning and um, shimmery lotions and everything related to tan so uh, I just wanted to call it like my summer skin um, box let's say so this is how i'm keeping all my tanning products i do have a shelf in the bathroom so i just wanted to have a separate place for all of them now i have here a few i mean two actually because there are not a few just two shimmery um, oils one body blur i'm just going to explain that concept later is just mind-blowing and then we have actually just three of my favorite products when it comes to at home uh, self tanning so i'm just going to explain the whole process and maybe go um through each fucking product let's just start the freaking video i'm just talking so much so when i was back in Turgumoresh in high school the only fancier beauty related with all kind of products and stuff like that store was douglas now douglas has all kind of brands and I, I remember using one specific self tanner. It was designated for the face. It was half cream, half tanner, and it just got mixed up all together. And usually you would get orange, let me tell you, first of all. Second of all, what I hate the most about most self tanning lotions and stuff like that is the fact that you are not only going to get orange and you can actually see it, you know? And part two and not a bonus at all trust me um, is the fact that you can smell it so it's going to have that certain self tanner smell and I'm sure you all know it so along the time and what I've discovered to be a really nice range of products was Vita Liberata now, Vita Liberata is the kind of product you would find in Sephora. Of course, mine are super dirty because, you know, just self-tanning, so just don't freaking judge. I want to see your self-tanning product. So this is Vita Liberata. I started using it when I found out about it maybe two years ago, I think, maybe. I don't quite remember, but it's been a while. And you can find them in Sephora online or in the malls, but just online right now because the malls are closed. <laughs> By the way, it was snowing yesterday in Cluj and it's like March. I'm just going to show you some um, some shots from around the house. It's just full of snow around here. Yeah, and we are talking about self tanner because <laughs> summer is far, far away. After using it for a while and I used uh, the other one, which has like a shimmery brown, bronze, um, exactly like it just looks exactly like the cap the whole packaging situation and after that they just launched this version which is my all-time favorite version from them if i have to choose between foam and other kind of textures for self tanning definitely just go for foam because it's easier to apply and this one it also goes into a foam now what i do not like about vita liberata and this is actually a sienna glove is just the fact that they have these super cheap gloves that are just going to get ruined so much faster than you actually think they would so 
yeah this is like a downside now this product is, says that it's 90 percent organic 100 percent clean clear as water hydrating tan no risk of transfer super fast drying delivers deeper tan results so this is something you can just use on your skin of course before using any type of um, self tanner at home, you should exfoliate. So what I would recommend is just get, getting in a steamy shower or a hot shower or something like that. And just after that, exfoliate your body with you know an exfoliator or what kind of a scrub you have. Um, I've been testing out this, this little one from Sienna. It's called Polishing Body Scrub. But you can try whatever body scrub you would like or just build it yourself from a bit of um, corn flour mixed with, I don't know, olive oil or something like that. It's super important to exfoliate, to just remove the dead cells. Of course, do try to get rid of all of the hair before. So shave or do whatever you have to do in the shower to just get rid of it. And after that, you can just um, start on your self tanning process. So. I actually have two of these. Of course, something that I really liked was the fact that I couldn't feel that horrible smell of self-tanner. So that's why these products do get a plus. Vita Librata, because they have this uh, pH neutral um, formula. So they just don't smell as bad as other uh, self tan products. This is one of my all-time favorites when it comes to self tanning. I have both of them. I do not recommend getting any other cream product or stuff like that from them because it's just easier to work with the foam. And I do not recommend getting the glove from them because you can find better ones, not really maybe cheaper, but better ones. The whole point is buying something that's going to last. That's going to, even if it's like more expensive or stuff, you just have to think about, you know, I'm going to use it so many times in the future, so I'm just going to invest in something quality wise because the other one was made out of this super thin, um, kind of a spongy foam situation. And this is just going to wear out super fast. I used to order them in Sephora, I do not order them anymore. I use this one from Sienna. Now, regarding Sienna, and I'm just going to go over one of uh, the other favorites, which is the body blur. We're just going to be back with it. This is just such an amazing product. Stay tuned. Now with Sienna, I do have the polishing body scrub over here. This is just like a small bottle for me to test. And this is the Sienna Professional One Hour Self Tan Tinted Mousse. For natural looking, self tan is going to be okay for all skin types and it's just going to be developed in time. So you can leave it on like one hour for a light tan, which is something, I don't know, why should we? Let's just go for a medium, okay? That's like two hours. You just apply it on with, and I'm just going to show you the texture of both of them, Liberata and Siena. This one, you're going to need to wash it off in one hour, two hours, or three hours for a deep tan. It just says here on the bottle. So this is how it looks. It's like a super fine foam. I like the fact that it is in this kind of a spray bottle packaging, so it's super easy to use. It feels compact and, I don't know, safe and fast working. So, just tried it on my right hand. You see how this glove just feels super velvety and nice? and you can wash it and reuse it again and it's super, super quality. And this is something you should do and just apply to everything in your life. It doesn't matter if you have to pay more, it's going to last, that's the best thing ever. Let's just try the other one, Vita Liberata one. Why are you splashing all over? I'm doing a presentation, you're supposed to be good. So this is how the other one looks. So it's not as compact as the Sienna one. And the foam seems a bit more yellowish, but I do love both of the colors. So this is with Sienna applied. And this is my, I couldn't say natural color because I am using um, self tanner like every week. So this is just the other hand. You just have to go sparsely on your wrists and your, on your knees and uh, elbows. As you can see, Vita Liberata is a bit more orangey, a bit more yellowy, I think. And this one is um, a bit more brownish with maybe a green undertone. I don't know how to explain that. Since I've been using both of them, I do have to say I would give this one a thumbs up 
more than the other one even though I love both of them it does give like a deeper brown situation when it comes to Vita Liberata you just have to reapply it and this one uh, the longer you leave it on, you have to take a shower after this one. Um, you're just going to just have like a deeper and deeper tan, which is pretty nice. And again, Vita Liberata, it doesn't smell like um, self-tanner. And this one just smells more like vanilla and coconut. So I just, I was really, really amazed when I first used this one. So back in time, Alexandra, my nail artist, just introduced me to um, this girl called Pusha. And she's just doing this super cool bronzing sessions at home. Just got my coffee. Do you guys drink coffee or wine or something when you're watching? Hopefully. So these are pretty similar. That's why. I got confused. So this one is a Narumi tanning body, self tanning cream. This is something new from Mihana. I love the bottle and the tassel and everything. The design is just beautiful. Mihana is an organic cosmetic brand. It is Romanian and it's super high quality. You can just look at the packaging and everything. It has this cap on it and then the tassel and everything. This is actually a formula developed from their original Narumi chocolate body cream, which is a super delicious watermelon and chocolate cream and just smells amazing. I think this is maybe one of their best sellers. And this one is a new version of um, the Narumi, but this one is actually a self tanner. So it's just going to um, work as a self tanner. Now you just it have is to apply the white your cream fingers. right now. On your skin, dry skin, so they say. apply with your fingers and after to clean that, you just have to of wash your hands and just with let fabric the product and sink in until for the product has a few absorbed. minutes. And to finish this video, I don't know why I have this one over here, but it is one of my favorite products from Moroccan Oil. I just love the fact that they came up with this uh, body line for their products. And this one is a night body serum. You just have to use it like all over the skin. It's just it leaves this super velvety, mm, I don't know how to explain it, but super cool texture. This is something you need to test. It feels super luxurious on the skin. That's what I like about this. And it does smooth out the skin and help with lifting the skin a little bit and just um, firming it. Of course, don't forget about sport. Now again, this one from Yohana is going to be Narumi. It's going to be a very good option for just um, self tanning on the spot let's say so maybe if you want to get like an instantly tanned look on your skin but without the self tanning option the pigments and the chocolate one is just going to help you it smells super super good so with this being said this is um, all I had to say about self tanning and my favorite products I hope you enjoyed the video maybe you're already using the products maybe you've never heard of them just let me know in the comments below and uh, yeah I'm just I mean we're just going to start a conversation over there and see which are the best products um, the ones you like and the one you the ones you would like to test maybe in the future As I was getting ready to close the video, I realized I haven't talked about three important products and the first one is the body blur, which I told you about multiple times in the video. This is like a foundation for your legs. This is the ultimate secret for HD bronzed goddess looking legs and skin. This is our must have for our infused swimwear shootings and videos and this is the kind of product that it's always always going to be in our bag when we are going to a certain you know cover magazine shoot or just any kind of shooting because your photographer is going to thank you a lot it just blurs everything away the fine lines um, any kind of imperfections so this is the way you can actually get those perfectly goddess looking JLo legs or Victoria's Secret model legs and, and stuff like that. Everybody is wearing body makeup. So 
don't worry, we all have our imperfections. Now moving on, we have the shimmery oils and we have Tom Ford Soleil Blanc and uh, the shimmer oil of Anastasia Beverly Hills and we are going to start with this one this is a dry body oil so it's going to instantly dry on your skin it looks so so amazing on tanned skin it is a very good option when it comes to uh, shimmer body oils for summer and I really like the fact that it is dry and it will dry up instantly so it's super easy to use, it won't stain your clothes and it just has this super rich golden texture along with a pretty cool summery smell. This is the texture. I'm showing you the texture. So the next one is Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford. This is the shimmer body oil version of the Soleil Blanc perfume. This one is something that really reminds me of our honeymoon because I have been using that perfume uh, on our honeymoon and I did use it a lot and I love it. It has a bit of a lighter texture than Anastasia Beverly Hills but it is on the expensive side and I don't know if I would go and buy it again because it is quite expensive. Now another product I was talking about in this missing footage of mine is the reddest airbrush legs foundation spray. So this is a product I wasn't so impressed with but due to the fact that it is the wrong shade it is a very light shade for my skin tone and for my tan skin tone as well as you might imagine. Now I really love the smell it smells just like the Nivea cream this is just such a beautiful smell. I love the fact that it comes in a spray bottle. It's super easy to use and I am inclined to go and purchase one maybe in a darker tone. I don't really know uh, how many shades there there are because I got this in a PR package so yeah. It's going to dry up on your legs or skin in like a few minutes so it's not going to stain your clothes. It did stain my clothes in the story where I used it because I was not patient enough but again a plus for this is the packaging, the fact that it's super easy to apply and the fact that it smells just super super delicious. I love the smell of Nivea cream hands up or thumbs up if you do as well. So these are my favorite products when it comes to self tanning, tanning at home, just you know tanning in general and, and I just want to know which ones are your favorite so let me know in the comments below. Hopefully this video is going to help you pick your favorite um, self tanner from now on and don't forget to subscribe and stay around because we have many many surprises for you uh, regarding the contest we have the giveaway the ongoing giveaway here on youtube it's going to end in a few days so you can just still sign up and um, of course we're going to be announcing uh, the winner in a special video here on youtube so stay tuned